Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Sunday, August 11th, 2019, and I recently renewed my subscription to Bassmaster Magazine. Now, what, you might ask, does that have to do with fishing this pond? Well, as a thank you, Bassmaster sent me a few free gifts, and among the gifts they sent me was this. It's a pack of baits. More specifically, it's a pack of skirted grubs. Now, I've used skirted grubs before, uh, but never this particular brand, so I thought I would take them out to one of my favorite local ponds and give them a test run. So let's go ahead and crack open this pack of baits, rig it up, and see if it's worth the free price tag. So power bait bearded the deuce. Let's crack these things open here. Oof, sure smells like a deuce. All right, so I got a four-aught wide gap hook here. Just gonna do this Texas style. All right, cinch down the weight. And there we go, simple as it gets. Let's pitch this thing around, see if they can't get a few fish. Fish on. Way back in that pipe. This feels like a good fish, too. Yeah, he is. Look at that. Way up in that stormwater pipe. Oh, jeez. He broke me off, too. This thing's got some piss and vinegar in it. All right, buddy, let's get that hook out of your face. Get you back in the water, because you clearly do not like it out here. There we go. Not bad. It's probably like a pound and a half fish. Send him on his way. On the power bait, bearded the deuce. Thank you, Bassmaster Magazine. So if you guys have been watching my recent videos, you've probably noticed that I haven't really been fishing my local ponds as much this time of year. And the reason is because it's really been hot out. Um, you know, air temps have been consistently up towards the 90s, which that's definitely going to raise the water temps, and especially for shallow ponds like this, and most of the other ponds around me, which are shallow as well, um, that really stresses out the bass uh, when the water temps are too high. And while it's certainly possible to catch bass when the water temps are in the mid to high 80s, um, it's, it's not easy. So I've foregone fishing the local ponds and uh, been focusing on other places. I've been fishing the Raritan River a lot because you know that has moving water which stays more oxygenated and a little bit cooler uh, which keeps the fish a bit more active in the heat of summer and I've also been having fun with the summer species down at the Jersey Shore and so far that has worked out but recently weather has cooled down a little bit I mean not a lot, but, you know, at least a few degrees. And that's kept the water temperatures from getting too high, which is why I decided to finally come back to fish one of my favorite shallow, weedy ponds. And so far, I've been rewarded with one fish. And hopefully, before the evening is over, I can put a few more on my thumb. Broke off. How did it break off? That was definitely a bite. Son of a bitch. 
All right, so that last fish that bit actually broke me off. Um, and since I don't believe there's any pickerel in this pond, uh, it wasn't a result of a toothy fish. So I think it was just a weak point in the leader. So to circumvent that going forward, I just decided to take the leader off altogether. Uh, now I've got this lure tied straight to the braid. This is a 20 pound braid. And hopefully that will resolve the break off issue. Well guys, fishing has been pretty underwhelming today. In fact, the deuce has only landed me uno. I'm not necessarily sure that's the bait's fault. I mean, we are still in the dog days of summer, and even if the water temps have come down a couple of degrees, it's still pretty warm. And since we've had bright sun all day, that's definitely gonna make fishing a little tough. So I think it's about time I made my way back to the car. I'm gonna hit a few places along the way. If I catch anything, you will see it. If not, then I will see you at the outro. Huh, can I sneak this in there? I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Oh, perfect. Now I just need a fish. And nothing. Perfect. Well, everybody, I think my fishing day is just about over. And really all that leaves is my opinion on the bearded the deuce from Powerbait. And gotta say, I'm a little lukewarm on it. So first of all, the skirted grub is not my go-to choice for pretty much any situation. I mean, I've used them in the past. I know they work under certain conditions, um, but that's usually not what I reach for. Um, but for what it is, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's got a decent action in the water. Um, it's got the power bait scent, so fish will grab it and hold on to it. And I did catch a fish on it, so they will catch fish. You know, that's, that's pretty much been proven. Um, but I think based on my style of fishing and the other soft plastics that I like to use, I don't think that I am going to run out and buy a bunch of those. But the ones I got were free and I did catch a fish on them and I don't know about you, but when I catch a fish on a lure I didn't pay for, that feels pretty good. So that's gonna wrap things up today. Sorry this is kind of a short video, but uh, they can't all be barn burners. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure. The Deuce. That name is just made for YouTube. The potential for memes is just off the charts.